morning, it's Sunday. What is going on YouTube? Check how burnt I am. Oh my god. <laughs> what are you doing back there? Are you twerking? I can't even see A you. Push up. Let's see. This is what girls on YouTube like to do. Here I am, ready to do a push up. Ugh. <laughs> do that again. You look good, actually. No wonder they do it that way. Alright, let's go to the gym. Let me show you guys this view. Check it out, though. This is just for this is only our bedroom balcony, not our living room balcony. <laughs> that's a better view. We do have another balcony that's... All right. What's going on, guys? <laughs> All right, we're going to the gym. Let's go. What's going on everybody? Welcome to the commentary portion of this video. I'm gonna run you through this workout that we had. I apologize that it is filmed in portrait because these clips were meant for Instagram and I didn't think I was gonna put them on YouTube, but I figured why not? Just a couple black bars on the side ain't gonna hurt anyone. So go follow the Instagram because that's where I post a lot of daily workout content. Uh, it'll be linked in the description. So go click on it, go follow me. I'll follow you back if I like your stuff, if I like your content, so make sure you have good content. Just kidding, I'll follow you back. But uh, yeah, so we started with lat pull downs, supersetted with these cable pullovers. So I love this combination because it really uh, pre-exhausts your muscle right off the bat and gives you a solid pump. And there's something to be said about a nice pump because if, I find if you start your workout with um, a superset like this, just to fill your your muscle full of blood, you just get such a better contraction and such a better mind-muscle connection through the rest of your workout. So it's kind of like picture doing squats when you're cold, like straight from outside in the winter, you come in, you don't even warm, warm up and you just do squats. It feels like it like hurts your bones, hurts your joints. So make sure you always warm up a lot and then do a little bit of pre-exhaustion, try it out. I've been doing like some cable flies and stuff before bench. And uh, here we're doing, like I said, the lat pull down, super set it with that pullover and it just fills the muscle full of blood and just gives you a, a great contraction, like I said. So try that out. Uh, right here, I am doing the lat pull down. So a couple things I can say about this is some people don't like to lean back like I'm doing here, but personally, I find it to be uh, more personal preference, whatever you feel. Right here, I'm not swinging to pull the weight. What I'm doing is I'm kind of slowly contracting my muscle and pulling back just to treat it more like a, a high row almost. I'm hitting my lats, but then I'm also hitting some upper back by leaning back and squeezing. So there's a couple obviously different ways to do each exercise. So if you see someone doing something in the gym, don't necessarily go up and say that they're doing it wrong because they may just be trying to hit like a different portion of the muscle, different part of the muscle. So just a couple words for thought there. But uh, yeah, so these pullovers are also a kind of a difficult exercise to perform unless you really can feel it and know what you're doing. Maybe for a beginner, it might be a little bit difficult. So what I focus on with these is the full stretch of the lat all the way up like this. And then I pull down and I kind of try to bring my elbows behind my back. 
and you, you want to squeeze, you want to be able to have that contraction in your lat. Um, it's kind of hard to explain, but when you pull your arm down in adduction like that towards your body, you are engaging the lat and you're just squeezing the heck out of your upper back. So give those a shot. They're awesome. If you can do them right, just really try to get your mind into the muscle. Next, I went on to these cable rows. These are one of my staples in my back routine. I just love doing cable rows because I can feel them so well in the muscle. So what I'm doing here is I'm keeping a very strict form with a slow negative and I'm leaning forward just to engage my whole back. I'm trying to get some um, lower back action in there as well. So I lean forward, lean forward. And while I'm leaning forward, I'm focusing on keeping my lats very tight, keeping my back very tight, abs engaged, core engaged, and I'm just uh, pulling back, squeezing, and back down again. So just a tight, rigid body, and then a row into your belly button, and really just try to pull the elbows back behind your back. So after that, we went on, Annika was doing these uh, one-handed rows. So I jumped in a set with her. Um, these cable rows are set up pretty high. So as you saw in that last clip, I was rowing to pretty high on my body. So what she did was got, grab some steps from the step up and elevate herself off the bench. And this is just, just so she could do um, a lower row, uh, target the lower lats a little more. So elevate your body. Depends what machines you have, what equipment you have at your gym. Uh, I find a lot of cable rows to be different. There's this type, which are very high. And then there's a couple other ones that are lower, but always work with what you got. You can innovate stuff like this. Um, so for these, it's just a one-handed row, pretty much the same thing as I was doing. Just she is pulling it towards her waist, lower in her body, just to engage the lower lats a little bit more. And then she just rejected my high five right there, so I confidently move on and keep filming. She supersetted those with seated face pulls, I believe, or maybe she was doing a row, I'm not sure. I was doing the face pull, but We'll see what she does here. I think she was doing more of like a low um, or a high row. So overhand grip, seated. When you sit down, it just really takes a lot of, uh, well, it takes your legs out of the movement, obviously, which allows you to focus more on your back. So these are pretty clutch. I like doing them face pull version just to really hit the upper back and the rear delts. But you can also do them like Annika's doing them here, just like a low row or sorry, I keep saying low row, but it's a high row. So she's coming down from the top of the top of the cables, squeezing the back and just focusing on the whole movement. It's crazy how much you can make exercises harder on yourself if you really just use your mind and your muscle connection. Um, you know, you can easily go through the motions in a gym and just not really fully train the muscle to your full potential. So really make sure you connect your mind into your muscle and when you're performing your exercises and your reps, you really just go through and squeeze each rep and focus on the negatives. Don't just drop the weight, really let the negatives um, be controlled. So here's me doing them. Um, really hitting the rear delts here as well and I'm just kind of supinating my arm as I come back. That's engaging a little more bicep and it's doing a little bit more lower lats. So yeah, since we are on the raised platform, all I do is just pull back and squeeze the hell out of my upper back right there and really try to focus on the negatives, like I've been saying. So this was our first workout, I think, in Australia. We just got the membership that night to this gym. This gym is EMF Pack Fair. It's in the Pacific Fair Mall, which is deadly because Annika always likes to go shopping afterwards and get food, which isn't a bad thing, but it is a awesome gym. It's got lots of natural lighting. If you're in Burlington, it's kind of, you can kind of relate it to Movadi, but like a lot smaller. It's kind of got the Movadi vibe to it. It's got all brand new machines and then like a nice turf CrossFit boxing room, which is awesome, which you can kind of see in the background there, the green turf. So I'm pretty stoked on this gym. It's awesome. You can plug your own music into that. Uh, as you can see the turf in the background there, it's like its own little separate room and you can plug your own music into and crank it. So that is awesome. And these were the face pulls I'm talking about now. So I superset it into these. And what I do for these is I kinda, instead, it's more, it's like a high row. I'm kinda like rowing my rear delt, but I'm kind of externally rotating my arms at the top, as you can see there a little bit, and pull into my face. So I'm driving the rope into my nose. 
And what's that gonna do? What that is gonna do, it's gonna really hit your delts, focus on those rear delts, so you're kind of rowing above your shoulder line. You're kind of rowing into your face, AKA face pulls. So those are awesome. You definitely give face pulls a go. They are a go-to if you do a lot of pressing movements. I always say this because they really help balance out your shoulders and a lot of people have huge um, front delts and ridiculously undertrained posterior delts. So make sure you stop doing front raises because your anterior delts do not need it that much. If you're doing a lot of benching and a lot of side raises, then you should be good. Focus more on your rear delts, build those up. So here is us doing this again. I don't know why I kept this in the video. I'm sure you guys don't wanna see us doing the same exercises over and over. But now on to biceps. So I don't think we filmed everything. I think I also did um, in this exercise, I did some barbell curls as well, but these are just some double supinating curls that I did. Um, I really like feeling these ones because you start off in like at the hammer curl position there, so you can go a little or go a little heavier, and then I supinate at the top and slowly, slowly lower the negative um, while supinated. So it's really good for overloading and then feeling the stretch and burn on the way down. And then Annika did the same thing, but she just kept it supinated here the whole time. As you can see, she's supinated at the bottom, supinated at the top. So with these, obviously don't swing your body, keep your core nice and tight. You can even flex your glutes and it keeps you real stable. And then just try to keep your elbows in front of your body or directly on the side of your body like Annika's doing here. Because if you let your elbows go behind you, it'll be easier and it'll kind of make it like a drag curl. So always make exercises harder because that's what will give you optimal results. Because obviously you're in the gym to push yourself and do things you don't want to do. So just make it harder on yourself and kill it. So that's the end of the workout. Um, as I said, we also did some barbell curls, but we didn't film those. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys grabbed a little bit of knowledge, tips, or value from it. And I will see you guys later. Drop a like, drop subscribe, and catch you later.